Chad Michael Murray's career is more or less synonymous with his portrayal of Lucas Scott on the TV series One Tree Hill. Sure, he's shown up in a few films like House of Wax and Cinderella Story as well, but most of his fans still remember him best for his wildly popular WB TV series, which became that network's biggest hit. The show played such an important role in his life that Chad even wound up briefly marrying his co-star Sophia Bush before it fell apart a little over a year later. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. But as all One Tree Hill fans know, there's only One Tree Hill and it's your home. And for Chad Michael Murray, that sentiment is still true to this very day. Over the past few years, when Whenever he's asked to reminisce about his time spent on the series, he's always quick to say that if there's one place in the world that he'll always want to return to, it's Wilmington, North Carolina, the town where they shot the series so many years ago. While discussing his former longtime home, where he lived between 2003 and 2011, Chad would tell People Magazine, there's just something magical about it. I'll always have an affinity for North Carolina. I just love it. According to the actor himself, he originally fell for the city because it had a little bit of everything for everyone. And so once he and Sophia got married in 2005, they picked themselves up a gorgeous home sitting on just over half an acre of land in one of the town's coziest suburbs for a very reasonable $573,000. Built in 1994 and boasting five bedrooms, five bathrooms, as well as roughly 4,255 square feet of space, much like the town it resides in, this humble abode had everything the newly married couple could want. Not only did the residence feature all the charm and appeal of a dwelling straight off of the Warner Brothers lot, it's at an acquired cul-de-sac within walking distance of a community lake. Over the years, the unit has been extensively upgraded, and according to recent listings, it now features eye-pleasing wainscoting throughout. In other words, it's definitely got all the charm and appeal of a family home, which made it something of an interesting choice for two newlyweds in their 20s. The attention to detail and craftsmanship is also apparent throughout the home, with its light-filled solarium and dining room area that also gives a stunning view of the outdoor gardens. The kitchen is a home cook's dream, boasting a built-in fridge, copper and rustic stone backsplash, copper farm sink, and a professional six-burner gas stove with multiple ovens and ample storage. As for the master suite, it allows for plenty of sunshine and boasts a spacious bathroom that includes dressing areas, a jetted tub, and a separate shower. There's also a large study with built-in shelving, as well as a separate building located on the premises that features a garage with an unfinished unit sitting on top of it. One that could easily be turned into a gym or even a spare bedroom. Unfortunately, as picturesque as this house was, it wasn't capable of holding Chad and Sophia's marriage together. It's not entirely clear what happened between these two, though the general consensus is that Chad messed everything up after spending the night with his House of Wax co-star, Paris Hilton. Regardless of what actually happened, a little over a year after getting hitched, these two were officially divorced. After finalizing that agreement, they then sold their former home in November of 2007 for 730K. Following his divorce, Chad bought himself a second home in Wilmington, and believe it or not, but he loved his former neighborhood so much that this new place was actually located in the same subdivision. Chad's second home set him back $545,000 and sat on a slightly larger lot but featured less interior space than his previous home, clocking in at right around 3,800 square feet. Boasting four bedrooms and three bathrooms, I suppose you could even say that this second home was something of a miniature version of Chad's original home. There was also plenty of natural light, beautiful landscaping, and spectacular room designs. Today, not only does this home include a formal dining room, but it also maintains a great room with a fireplace and lighted built-ins. There's also a professional chef's kitchen with custom designed cabinets, a large island, plentiful storage, high-end granite countertops, a large pantry, and views of the backyard. 
As for Chad's former lavish primary suite, it's located on the main floor, and both saw the amenities a Hollywood bachelor in his mid-twenties would have been looking for. Upstairs, the home is rounded off with more bedrooms, an office, and an oversized bonus room that can be transformed into whatever kind of space you need. Chad would spend the rest of his time working on One Tree Hill while living in this home before selling the property following his final season. Unfortunately, he took a hit while doing so, only managing to get $475,000 for the place and eating a $70,000 loss in the process. But despite that, Chad never lost his love for Wilmington. In fact, he still shows up there to his day. But even despite that, Chad never lost his love for Wilmington. In fact, he still shows up there to this day. Chad Michael Murray along with other One Tree Hill cast members such as Hilary Burton, James Lafferty, Bethany Joy Lenz, and Jaina Kramer all like to meet up for reunions in the city of Wilmington every couple of years or so. Chad opened up to People Magazine about these semi-regular reunions, telling them, Everybody keeps in touch with everybody. I like to believe that everyone that was a part of this show, we share something in common. We have that kindred spirit between each other, that connection that'll last forever. So I think it's pretty cool. These days, whenever Chad travels to Wilmington, he's reminded of the good times that he and his castmates shared, both during and after the series finished shooting there. And whenever he makes his triumphant return, he has a list of spots that he likes to visit, starting with the beaches. He's also a very big fan of the downtown area, thanks in large part to its historic sections. Chad explained to People, I always feel nostalgic walking on the Riverwalk downtown and on Walter Street. There are historic buildings that you can go in and out of. You can do the old ghost tour. There's just so much to do by walking. And when you're finally famished after a day of exploring, Chad recommends that you seek out a restaurant called Circa 1922, also situated in the downtown core. In particular, Chad suggests you give their pork pastry dish and cheese plates a try. The last time Chad visited Wilmington was just before the pandemic at the tail end of 2018. That's when he snapped images of himself revisiting two of One Tree Hill's most iconic locations, starting with the front porch of his former family home on the series. Then before heading out, he made sure to stop at the bridge Lucas Scott was always seen walking across during the opening credits of One Tree Hill. With heartfelt tributes like that, it's clear Wilmington holds a special place in Chad's heart. But ever since leaving the city behind, he's done a lot of growing up as a person. Today, Chad Michael Murray's wild and crazy bachelor days are a thing of the past. Now he's married to actress Sarah Romer and together they have two children whose names they've never revealed to the public. Much like how he keeps his family life under wraps, Chad also keeps where he lives today confidential. In fact, according to him, he tends to take his family on the road wherever he happens to go to shoot his next project. Wherever they go, Chad always winds up homeschooling his kids, but it's the experience that they get from traveling all around the world that he thinks really pays off for them in the long run. He explained to people, we keep our family together and they're on the road all the time, but they're learning more about the world than most adults as far as how to travel, how to get around. A couple of years ago in 2021, Chad packed up his family and moved them to Puerto Rico, where he was filming a film titled The Fortress alongside Bruce Willis. According to Chad, his kids loved to spend time on the beaches there whenever dad was busy working and they weren't bogged down by school. More recently, Chad has been spending time living in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where he is filming the upcoming CTV series Sullivan's Crossing. And while I can't tell you exactly where he's been staying while doing so, what I can reveal is that Chad is definitely a fan of the local fashion scene, having sought out a local business known as Jen's Jackets, where Halifax resident Jen Glass designs custom jean jackets. Chad fell so head over heels in love with these creations that he bought four of them, one for each of his family members, including a Foo Fighters jacket for himself. 
Well, you can check out that series later this year, but as for where Chad Michael Murray and his family are off to next, well, your guess is as good as mine. It could be anywhere. For right now, though, that'll bring this house tour to an end. Thanks for watching, and before you head out, consider the following question. If you traveled all over the world for your career, would you take your family with you, or do you prefer to have a home to return to? Let me know if you think Chad has his family life figured out in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name is Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.